And I'm frozen like this. VFS. Violent fist shaking. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Somebody's mad. Ugh. All right. Tell me about this violent fist shaking individual, please. Ooh, I can't sabotage you. I did something too quick, and now I'm like, ooh, right? Judgment. Ooh, somebody ran right into the wall of judgment. It's like, boom. Oh. I'll make you believe that I've got the key. Somebody's a, a Don Juan, right? I got this, man. Come on, man. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. I'm shifting gear. I'll take it from here. Yeah, somebody got laid flat. They flat. <laughs> oh, shit. Night of sword. Somebody did something so quick and now they're pissed. They're pissed, yo. Yeah. They possibly married a female or they did this shit to a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. They could have possibly tried attacking a, a mother type energy and then all of a sudden now their fists are shaking. <laughs> It just keeps showing me like Ren and Stimpy. You know, like, <laughs> what is this? They can't provide for their family. So that's what they do. They impulsively get into relationships, right? Come on, I, I want to love you and treat you right. I'll tell you my secret. You're going to have to keep it. So his secrets are out. That's what it is. There's a secret of some sort. That he's not, he's not who he said he was. Envy. Missing. Um, this person, it could be that this person just goes missing while their kids are hungry and shit. <laughs> oh, man. What a gem we got here. Tell me the truth. Is there actually somebody that's missing because of this person? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Was it that girl? There could be somebody that he was in a relationship with that someone's family is looking for. Hold on a second. Hold on. He could have kidnapped this per somebody. Oh, boy. There's somebody that somebody's family is looking for, man. And this dude has her. Or he did. What is this? Use your ID or your license. Somebody he used somebody else's. Let's find out who. 1010, it is a um, error. Yeah, I'll say you made an error. Impulsive. They want something. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Like without thinking. And then it's boom. Tell me about the person he used their, their uh, license or um, ID. Uh, someone begins with the letter V or M. L or I. This could be Lisa. This could be somebody that just takes and does this period. I don't even know if this is one person. Somebody also killed somebody named Elizabeth. Okay, that popped up earlier while I was flipping the cards. Tell me the truth, spirit. Uh, is this? Does he just do this? He takes like licenses and stuff. This is one of those dudes. I was watching. Take these off. I was watching this show the other day, and it was like cops arresting people. It's like one of my favorite shows to watch. You know. <laughs> And, and they were arresting people that go in and buy vehicles with other people's licenses and stuff. And this dude had like 50 or 60 female licenses. Okay, it was him and a chick that did this together. So this is somebody like that. George. Breaks my heart. Tell me the truth. Yeah, did he kill somebody named George? Okay, so this dude kills, killed somebody named Elizabeth. It's for the detectives. That's what showed up. He killed somebody named George. And he got nerve. He got a weapon. Somebody brought a weapon and every goddamn thing. An unregistered weapon. This is one of them, man. I'm telling you, it's all that shows up here. I literally have to, um, like, take baths, like, three times a day. Spiritual baths because of how dark this energy is that, that, that I pick up. And the people that come for me. Like, they're dark as shit, man. Yeah, for the detectives, um... Mark Haynes was was cloned, and so was Zach Ames. All right, so this may may it may help you guys understand like why do they keep doing this shit? Like these, I don't I don't want to believe that these dudes would do have this shit. They got these dudes raping women, 
murdering women. And then when I flipped out and then I sat there after I told him, I told him that it was Frank and Sean Emerson. Now, the irony is, is that he killed two Emerson females. So it's kind of like this shit's hidden right away. Like you killed our sisters or whatever, our cousin. Like, you know, we killed you, whether they knew it or not. It's just happening that way without people even knowing it, right? Now, I've had people uh, next door to me where they get mad because they're caught. They have someone next to them. They each wound up killing another person that the other person knew. It's just crazy. Like, you don't know anybody. You really don't. Um, all right. So, yeah, uh, it was Frank and Sean Emerson actually killed the original him because I just don't want to believe. And then when I flipped out the cards and I was like, why, why is this happening? And organ trafficking flew out. So that's what they're doing. Like these, these other forces, okay. Uh, they're cloning men to get involved in organ trafficking. All right. Now, not all of them are clones. Some of these guys are going to try and use that as an excuse. You know, people are going to come to your girl here to find out. Yeah, this dude's a fraud. He's a con man. Uh-huh. He's a bad one, too. If he's winding up on, on this table, he's a bad one. All right, so he killed someone named George and Elizabeth. Waiting, waiting for what? What you waiting for, cuz? Hmm? What's he waiting for? What you waiting for, love? Hmm? Pisces? Waiting for what? Five of Swords. What's he doing? What you waiting for, huh? You wait. What are you? What? 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 Are you waiting for somebody to come out? Hmm? Hold on. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Is he waiting for me to come out? Hold on. Let Let me stop the wait. Okay. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna keep this camera rolling. Let Let me stop your wait, bro. Huh? I'm gonna open up the door. Come do something. All right. Once you cross this door, though, I can shoot you if I want to. So come on. Come on. Don't underestimate what I got in here, bro. All right. I left the door open. All right. You hear all this? All right, so let's do this. Now while he's waiting, right? Mm-hmm. Holding on to what? He got a horrible attachment. Hmm. He's, I, I don't know. I, th I don't feel like he's rubbing two nickels together. I feel like somebody wishes that they'd made a different decision. I know Victoria's secret. Hmm? Hmm. Why, what is, is he trying to hold on to friendship or what's he got drugs or he's drinking? Oh, he thought, okay, I don't know, man. Somebody could have actually gotten one of their friends pregnant. Is there a secret? This is a secret. Hold on, clear that. Is this like a secret? Tell me the truth. Did he get, clear that. Did he get that girl, Emily? No, clear that. He get one of his friends pregnant? Yeah. All right. Who is this friend? I mean, it could be Victoria. They're playing Victoria's Secret, but their V popped out. T-A, this could be Tara. This could be Tamika. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is this Tamika? Okay, so he got his own friend pregnant. Tell me the truth, spirit. All right, there's a possibility that somebody's wife is going to find this out, that he got either his friend or her friend pregnant all right and i'm guessing that maybe it's the wife or the girl he's with that's going to be real pissed at this person for this that he used her id and her license yeah ding okay that's what that's what he did so he's a fraud and i guess his mask is coming off so um all right let, let's get in never ever have i ever card okay i still got the door open and i'm still waiting for you believe me all right all right let's do this Making money off of girls like me. That's what he does. He's, he's a fraud. He's a con man. He makes money off of women. He sees women as money makers for him. You know, he thinks he's a pimp. Huh? Somebody thinks he's a pimp. He doesn't respect women, though. 
Like he's gonna be forced to. Because I feel like whoever's with him is gonna be pissed. What a donated sperm. A little too much, bro. We don't need your kind of sperm, okay? We don't need any more guys that can't take care of their kids and they're just all willy-nilly with their with their man parts, okay? Uh, and then they, they, they get women pregnant and they roll, okay? We want responsible fathers. We have enough fatherless children on this planet, okay? We're finished with that. We don't want that anymore. Women who have self-respect, we don't want donated sperm unless we intentionally try to get pregnant without a dude. Other than that, this dude actually done this. He probably, I don't know if he donated. Why would you donate it? He probably sold it. I wish I never met you. Female. I hope this female, um, I hope that this female, uh, gets her self-respect back. You know? Their boyfriend. Okay, so it's your boyfriend got your friend Tamika pregnant. All right, sorry you had to find out here in this way. You know what I mean? Sorry. Um, be careful the guys you're hanging with. Uh, hold on. I got a YouTube channel, darling, called Philly Philosophical. I'm uploading a video currently. Um, you're going to have to stay away from dudes, man. There's a lot of traffickers, okay? Uh, this dude that you were just with, whoever your boyfriend was, uh, he's going to prison. Yeah, he killed some people. Do me a favor. Hold on a second. If you're a prostitute, no, no judgment. Just do yourself a favor, please. And get a pendulum. And when you make these dates, please ask this thing if they're safe. Because there's traffickers preying on prostitutes to traffic their organs. This isn't just sex trafficking anymore. If you're a fentanyl addict, go to your... I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i be right back, you guys. I'm going to pause it. All right, guys. I'm back. All right. How to save a life. That's right. All right. I, I am literally... Like, it makes me happy to save people's lives. This is why I'm here. All right. So I hope that you... Get off that shit, man, and uh, watch my channel, and you'll learn a lot about just shit. You know, stay away from, like, dudes, though. Use a pendulum as, as a, a, I mean, a necklace as a pendulum, and watch YouTube videos and learn how to use it. And, and check their energy first. All right, give me something else. All right. Have you made any changes in your life in the past year? All right, 1222. Let's see who this is. What's up with this? I think I'm better on my own. Yeah, somebody's better on their own. All these people do is make you that much stronger. All right, who is this? Is this the same message? Is this something different? Tell me about all these people do is make you that much stronger, please. I think I'm better on my own. Yeah, okay. So this is an earth angel. This is Knight of Cups. This is somebody that's a good friend, reliable information. Thank you. Somebody may be like, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Knight of Cups, yeah. Yeah, Taurus, okay. This definitely could be for me, but I know that there's a lot of Tauruses who are very good, loyal people. It's like, thank you. Thank you to the Hierophant. Or Hierophant energy is also Gemini as well. You could have these both highly aspected in, in your in your chart, but it's like, thank you, or, or stop offering this Knight of Cups, stop offering, like, uh, this is also, like, loyalty, commitment to manipulative uh, guys and women who gaslight you, so my, this is, you know, for me personally, I was offering very valuable loyalty to people who didn't deserve it, okay, and you don't realize until it's like you get to the point where you're like, I don't, I don't realize toxic. Look, that how toxic these people are, right? And you don't even realize how much you've changed because you, you're giving love to everyone else except for yourself at some point. And then like you lo you're lost. You, you don't even recognize yourself anymore. You know, I don't want to see that happen to people. I would write this person could actually have a family and be in a relationship on the side. That's what happened. The word toxic is popping up for a reason. This person was so so toxic, man. Let me get one of these. Wait a minute. Don't you know that you're toxic? Compulsive liar. This person, he's a compulsive liar as well. Worried? Somebody could be a cause and effect. That's karma, man. What you do comes back to you. Be careful how you're treating people that you don't know. You know what I mean? I mean, somebody could wind up changing your life. Don't just say, don't just say because someone's with you and goes, this person's this or that. Don't just believe everything everybody says, man. Um, 
people are broken. And you, if you believe that shit, you may wind up getting yourself caught up in some shit just believing what somebody said about somebody. You know what I mean? You wind up coming to attack somebody who just won the lottery. You didn't know that shit. They could have took you off the street, damn it. You know what I mean? It's like something like that. This could be some. You use me. Somebody may be realizing that they were they were a side piece or that this person is a con or tell me this person's married though. Uh, mediator. Yeah, negotiating with an ulterior motive. So be careful of people who you know have ulterior motive, okay? You, you're going to have to get your discernment in check. And, and the way to do that is you have to have your mind right. That's why a lot of these people are on fentanyl. I want to try and get them off the fentanyl, okay? That's why I give them the number to this place because that shit, you can't think straight. You don't even know, you don't even know when you sit next to a serial killer with that shit. So I hope that that's what this is. Yeah, this person, this dude is a constant disappointment. You know, and I also think there's somebody here that's very skilled, though. And I, and I think that whatever happened in this woman's life, um, she gave up on that. And it's probably just it's because of drugs. You know? That's cool. I mean, I used to be an addict, too. You know what I mean? It's Everything's possible. Yeah, I feel like somebody... Um, Freeing yourself, like freeing yourself from this person. And I, th I think that, you know, as long as you keep working together with these people who are fooling you and they're not who you think you are, you're going to constantly experience loss and disappointment. That th These types of people can't bring you happiness. you you got to be the number one best person in your life. You have to literally love yourself to the point where people are going to get pissed off at you. When those people get pissed off at you, boom, they're the ones you need to cut off. All right, why would you be mad that I love myself? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you kind of shit? You feel me? Let me see. Hold on. Let me go close the door. Everybody's such a tough guy until somebody stands up and, like, actually, like, says like let's do some shit man i can't tell you how many times i've opened that door it's just a facade it's a front all right let's see i'll be single soon somebody's ancestors and guides want this person to be single be loyal to you sit there to yourself for a little bit maybe getting off this shit is going to wind up helping you like think about who you used to be what kind of skills like what did you love to do you know what I mean? Go back to that shit. Somebody's destined for something great and they keep attracting like toxic dudes. Yeah, stay single for a while. And and like I say, I'm for time in my, my readings for prostitutes, please use a pendulum. Please take your life seriously. Okay. Um they prey on prostitutes for obvious reasons. You know, they know that you guys usually like are, are a little broken. Okay. I was broken most of my life. Um, was an addict most of my life and that you, they know you don't have, usually don't have a, t a tight connection with your family. Usually, um, they, they study you and then they'll see that you don't have a lot of men in your life. Okay. Cause these are weak men, 18, 18 that do this. They, they specifically search for women that don't have a lot of male presence in their life. Homicide. This person, these, a lot of these people have committed murder too. A lot of these dudes that are picking up these prostitutes, they are murderers. A lot of them have killed more than one person. They're actually serial killers. All right. If you had stroop waffle disease, I donate money, even though I know you obviously made it up. So this is the type of dude that says that they're sick as well. This is somebody that likes to get um, love and, and from a woman. And, and women do this too. This is somebody that likes to do this shit so that they can, you, they can be taken care of. This is somebody who will lie and say they have cancer. I hope I go to hell when I die. Well, somebody is. Somebody's going to hell. Hold on. Always a losing game. Yeah, I feel like somebody, yeah, butterfly. Pay attention to uh, if you see a butterfly. I don't know. Somebody could have a butterfly tattoo. Yeah. Hold on. All alone. That's what they're playing. Loving. Loving you is a losing game. Yeah, loving this person is a losing game. And, and as long as you're attracting people like this, they're always going to disappoint you. That. When I tell you, like, there aren't many people that can match you when you're a good person on this planet. They're really not. There are more criminals and predators 
then there are good people. And they come as men and women. All right, all shapes and sizes and colors, damn it. Okay, they got the whole rainbow of predators going on and shit. So I would like for you, before you wind up dead, to please, yeah, they, they treat you like an option. You need to free yourself from these people who treat you like you're an option. You need to be the only option, okay? Like, if, if you don't bow down to me, like the queen that I am, or the king I am for who this is for, then I, I can't get down anymore. You know what I mean? I feel like somebody may go through, like, um... I, I just feel like it's not... Like, these people have the stench of death on them. You can you can look at somebody and, and tell, man, if they're if they're right or not. Yeah, walk away. I feel like somebody somebody's uh, ancestors are begging somebody to please walk away from whatever this is, whether it's drinking or drugs or whatever. It's going to wind up getting you killed. It's a losing game. Yeah. You're offering, um, you're offering like very valuable, loving and committing energy. Like this is a really good person. You could be a Taurus or a Gemini, uh, but this is somebody that when somebody gets you, you're valuable. You're a valuable person. Stop giving your valuable self to people who have no value is what your ancestors are saying. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. We're not going nowhere. Love you. Philly out.